Hello everybody and welcome back to our WWE 2K24 universe. We are back with another pay-per-view and this is the match lineup. Not sure if we're going to get any championship changes. We may do, we may not, but what we'll do is next week we'll have some new number one contenders matches. Rather than have rematches, the champions will go into those number one contenders matches so they have to earn their way back into it. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the show. Let's get to it. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The bloodline has arrived. Their dominance is historic. All the power, all the attention. Every move they make makes headlines. And every move they make continues their dominance. This is still their yard. And the bloodline has survived rare losses, defections, yet still remain strong. Yeah, tonight is a showcase of the bloodline's strength. It's time to get out of the way. The fastest rising star is in the building. And we're about to see whose game it is. By some accounts, L.A. Knight should never have made it to WWE. Well, he is proving the doubters wrong right now. I sure hope he understands what he's getting into when he steps in the ring with Roman Reigns. Yeah, Reigns' inimitable power could represent the end game for this superstar. Introducing the challenger from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, L.A. Knight. And his opponent from Pensacola, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns. Everything has led to this for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The stakes do not get any higher than this. This is what we've been waiting for. A match to decide the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The crowd has been buzzing about this all day. Anytime a title of this magnitude is up for grabs, it generates an unbelievable level of excitement. The question on everyone's mind is who walks out champion? A question that we'll soon have an answer for. Right in the mouth, relentless. Oh. 
Jeez. Enough already. He's rummaging for some sort of equalizer underneath the ring. He is looking to do some serious harm. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Oh, did we just see a tooth fly out? Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Jumping clothesline. Oof. Corey, I don't know that there's a cockier superstar in all of WWE than LA Knight. First of all, it's called confidence, Cole. But I will admit, it could possibly be used against LA Knight here. Because this match may just come down to who's more focused. Ooh. Oh, There's some power behind that punch. Chucking his opponent to the outside, surveying the situation, picking up speed. Nobody else oh. wrecking ball. Drop kick. Soaring out of the ring, looking to do as much damage as possible. Hope you boys put your running shoes on. It might be time to clear out. Planning on what to do next. My goodness. Oh. And then look at that. And he gets set back into the ring. Shoulder right to the midsection. Ooh, kick right to the gut. So ruthless. A bad place to be for the challenger. Cover by the challenger. The champ avoiding a one count. An almost instantaneous kick out there. A lot of work left to do. BFT. Laying out with a power slam. And that has to put some fear into the champ, seeing the kind of power their challenger possesses. The close line. Knight caught by surprise. Roman Reigns with a couple of headbutts, follows by a right hand, and Reigns has him right where he wants him. Steps outside the ring. This here, classic Roman Reigns measuring his man. He is looking to do some serious harm. Reigns showing no mercy. The elders have to be... Oh, Roman Reigns about to put his opponent away. No getting no Last second knee to the face there. You gotta be questioning how much further they're willing to take this, guys. After that, Cole, I don't think there's any question they're ready to take this all the way. Does the official not see him removing the turnbuckle pad? Keep your voice down. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Shifts it back onto him. takes is insane. The amount of force behind that is enough to knock a normal person out. LA Knight kick to the cut. BFT. Gonna see a new champ. Looking for the victory. Two. Oh, kick out. Kick out at two. Guys, I thought we were getting a new champion there. <laughs> well, we might see a new champ here tonight. Don't put the cart before the horse. The champ kicked out and has no intentions on losing that title anytime soon. That move has brought victory before, but not on this occasion. Might be time to think outside the box. Sidewalk slam! Almost drove him through the ring. He needs to be prepared. You're a Nagi! Man, oh man. Slows that down with a well-placed kick. Oh. 
Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. And that failed to hit the mark. Boom! Slam! With authority. The challenger's hopes are slipping away. This has just been an absolute massacre. Uh-oh, four are going to cut off the win. It's just a matter of time now. The guillotine is locked in tight. I think he's got it locked in good. I just don't know how to counter this. And he may have felt his grip slipping, so he releases the hole. Still was able to produce some considerable damage, though. Intensity from the big dog. LA Knight struggling a bit. His confidence is being used against him right now. Oh man, the neck breaker. Middle rope four. Here's the pin tunnel on the line. Go. Emphatic kick out from the champion. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Now, trampling the opposition. And Roman continues to take on damage there. Reigns needs to collect himself quickly before things get worse. Spear by Reigns! Another one bites the dust to the champ. But the ref isn't even paying attention. Never mind what you're doing. Make the count. There's two! That's it. The champ stays the champ. Here is your winner. And still, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns. Big win as he retains the championship. Statement made. He wants everyone to know this is his title. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the Intercontinental Championship. The one and only Charlotte Flair. Perhaps the greatest competitor in the history of the women's division. Hey, if you want to create a legacy in the WWE women's division, then Charlotte Flair is the mountain you have to climb. Yeah, there's no one even close to the amount of accomplishments that Charlotte has. The WWE ring is her unquestioned kingdom. And Charlotte will stop you and then leave an imprint of her boot tattooed on your face. Highly skilled in every facet. Strength, brawling ability, risk-taking, mind games. No other women's competitor has been so decorated, so revered. Charlotte Flair, is ahead of her time. True greatness usually isn't realized until after you've been enshrined in the WWE Hall of Fame. Such is not the case with Charlotte. Just open your eyes and experience the greatness. Well, here comes the girl with the shiniest wizard. A competitor that's shown she possesses tremendous heart from bell to bell. A true inspirational superstar. Let's go! 
Well, Tegan was betrayed by her former best friend, Dakota Kai, in the first ever women's war games match. All that says to me is that Tegan Knox simply isn't a very good best friend. Saxton? Saxton? That was my comment. Saxton? Well, a feel-good story every time Tegan Knox competes. Introducing the challenger from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair! And her opponent from the Welsh Valleys, the Intercontinental Champion, Tegan Knox! You can feel the tension here tonight. Definitely a big fight feel. Here we go with the title on the line. The stakes in this match really couldn't be any higher. Uh, you can tell these superstars are ready to give their all to walk out of here a champion. They might be limping out of here if this match is even half as intense as I think it might be. Uh oh Hung out to dry. She heads out of the ring, but she needs to pay attention to the ref's count. Tick tock. Uh, oh man, looks like her opponent's not gonna need a chiropractor. Charlotte Flair setting her sights and lining her up. <laughs> Popping at the leg. Set to the outside. Gonna risk it all right here. Thinking about it, thinking about it, gonna do it! Oh. Suicide dive! Throwing all costs into the wind and leaping to the outside. What a chop! Corey, what do you think she needs to do here to get the advantage over Tegan Knox? You have to stay on top of Tegan Knox at all costs. Knox has that never quit, never say die attitude, but the thing about that attitude is that eventually it's just not enough. It might take a while, but grinding her down is the best option. And surely she hears how high the referee's count has gotten at this point. Well, if she does, maybe she just doesn't care. Pinpointing the leg. Ooh. A focused attack on the champion's leg, and that might have some lingering effects. Oh, my! That showed a complete lack of respect for your competition and for our sport. Knox cuts her off. Goodness. Producing a trampling. And now she's looking to go top rope. From the top. Unreal. The champion is willing to take every risk tonight. She overcomes the pinfall attempt. Staying in this one. This is a flat-out vicious attack. Blows to the back of the neck and then smashing their face into the mat. By the, for the title. Breaks the count in two. She is still fighting, still keeping this going. And now Knox could be closing in. Able to elude it. Drop kick. 
Right on the money. Just a relentless assault from Knox. Charlotte's got to find a way to put her best foot forward here. Oh, straight forward. Oh, impressive counter. Yeah, Charlotte able to stop that surge dead in its tracks. Oh, she's trying, trying to create space. Get back here, leg lariat. You have solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. Pick the leg. Oh, man. That'll tear your hamstring. Into a double knee drop. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Ouch. Oh, what a shot. Those last hits rattled the champ. Yeah, as the queen no doubt wanted to put her in her place a little more emphatically that time. What a sidewalk slam. Action needs to return to the ring and fast. She was a millisecond away from a count out, guys. Charlotte Flair stepping into the figure four. Can she complete the bridge? Not sure why, but she releases the hold. Well, I think she sensed her opponent was about to break free. Oh, Charlotte Flair setting up into a, into a close line. Amazing. Is it enough? The cover two. We just witnessed history and the beginning of the Charlotte era. Here is your winner. And new Intercontinental Champion. Charlotte Flair. She won the title. She's the champ. We really are looking at a new era, Cole. Soak it in. Chase U is here. We're all about to get a lesson. Everybody's hoping to be on the Dean's list after tonight. Or else they'll be put on double secret probation. School jokes aside, this is a seriously competitive team. No doubt, Corey, and they're always focused on improving. Imperium has arrived. A united group with one unwavering mission to prove that the mat is sacred. It's amazing, guys. Everything about Imperium runs like clockwork. Yeah, they walk in lockstep, exhibit teamwork. There are zero holes in the game of Imperium. And it's a testament to their mission statement. 
The mat is sacred. We are moments away from seeing Imperium's mission statement in action. And that's unfortunate for anyone else in the ring. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 440 pounds, Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser. Imperium. And their opponents at a combined weight of 469 pounds, the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Andre Chase and Duke Hudson, Chase University. Here we go, gentlemen. The tag team titles are up for grabs. Final preparations between partners before the action begins. Class is in session for Chase U, and tonight their opponents have some tough lessons in store. You can certainly learn a lot watching Andre Chase and Duke Hudson at work. As long as they avoid distraction and follow the lesson plan, Chase U might just earn a passing grade tonight. But when you face Imperium, you face the fight of your life. You'd be hard-pressed to find a more polished, disciplined, and lethal group of superstars. When Imperium gets in the ring, they are all business. Yeah, calling them stern would be an understatement. For Imperium, this industry is a serious matter that other superstars have turned into a laughingstock. And in Imperium's eyes, that's a wrong they themselves must correct. Down across the neck. Oh, pressing their foot right into the gut. That's got to hurt. Andre Chase getting taught a lesson of his own. What an attack there by Vinci, expertly controlling his power. Bam! Set crashing down. He's turning the tables. Tag made, fresh man in. Oh, God, here's the pin. Title on the line. A lot of energy left in that kick out. This matchup isn't anywhere near over. In the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Back elbow. Ah, oh, blow to the bread basket. Delivers an axe handle. Single leg drop kick caught him. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Trap the arm into the neck breaker. Hung out to dry. The challenger's looking shaken. Take your notes. That was quick and effective delivery by Chase. Oh, and he had the wherewithal to counter Andre. Look at that counter from Ludwig. Ooh, 
Jr. Uh-oh. Dropping the elbow right on the knee. Stomp to the leg. Elbow drop. Piercing. And Ludwig can't find a way off the blocks. Andre isn't holding anything back. Oof. And we are down to the proverbial wire here, guys. The match hanging in the balance. Time to get back in the ring. Butterfly double under. Double underarm hook. Blocked and into a clothesline. Guys are finding a way to slow his opponent's assault down. Ludwig could be turning his fortunes around. What started with strong words and healthy locker room competition has snowballed into an out of control feud between these competitors. It's been an interesting story to watch from ringside. Each new chapter has been more dramatic than the last. Rivalries like this are what legends are made of. Here comes that rolling fireman's carry. Uh-oh, evading offense. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Drop kick with precision. Oh, new champ. And the champion gets a shoulder up just before two. These men knew this match is going to be hard fought. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Looking wobbly in the corner. That's a hold of the arm, a chop for good measure. Not done yet. What agility. Nice arm drag. Might just have the quickness advantage over the chair. That could factor into this in a very big way when push comes to shove. Stop in the leg. Saw that one coming. Pop way up, driven down, backbreaker. The champ has been taken to their limit. Not what you want to see by any means. Neckbreaker. Firm control. Oh, kick right in the face. Gets the tag. Oh, wiped out with the crossbody. Him in. Close line. What impact. Not one. Not two. But three. Boom. Is in effect. Gets tagged in. Look out. And I have no doubt they're going to pay dearly for it. Thrown back in under the ropes. Tag is registered. He switches it back around. Oh, check this out. Kaiser with the STO cover. Oh, there's a response against Kaiser. Getting him into the corner. Crushing impact in the corner. And an elbow for good measure. The champion into the cover. This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. Tag made. Tag made. From behind. Back suplex. Snap suplex. 
And now Giovanni is thriving off the audience. He has a task at hand, but prefers to be showboating right now. He's got it. In position and now muscling up their opponent for a devastating shoulders down. Championship on the line. The coming to the rescue. Single leg drop kick caught him. And listen to this place. It's deafening in here, Michael. Tossing their opponent like they're nothing. And Giovanni didn't find a counter to that. Such physicality from Duke. Underhook applied. Side of and Chase showing he still has signs of life in him. Andre fighting through and perhaps closing in on the opposition. Uh-oh. And Vinci turning it around. Up top. Death Valley driver by Vinci. The title went Chase hands. That's, that's impossible. I, I can't believe what we just saw. I can't tell if it's anger in the eyes of the fact that he hasn't finished this or if it's disbelief that his opponent is still in this. Oh, a spinning side slam. Tag is made, and here we go. Big forearm. Punch. Oklahoma slam. Shoulder tackle. to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. As their opponent on for a devastating crucifix bomb. Inflicted. Just a debilitating chain of maneuvers from D on the top. Oh, an elbow drop. Oh, it's a piercing elbow. This place has come unglued. Rightfully so. Looking good right now. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Oh my God, what a crossbody! the dream work in this tag team victory. Two men with one common goal can be a dangerous thing. They're putting the entire locker room on notice. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the World Heavyweight Championship. A chorus has broken out for Seth freaking Rollins. Oh, 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 Stop it. Stop oh, it. You almost oh, shut up the entire arena just now. I was having fun, guys. Yeah. 
He's held the Intercontinental, the US, the WWE, and the Universal titles each on multiple occasions. Truly one of the greats of the era. The visionary hauls so much drip, the water level rises wherever he goes. But here's the thing, that's all a part of his mind games. If the opposition is thinking about Seth's outfit or his dancing, they aren't thinking about the match. A truly glorious arrival. A multiple time champion around the world. There is no one else as glorious. I can think of some people. Make no mistake about it, when the entrance ends and the music stops, Robert Roode is ready to fight. The one thing you have to do is prevent Rollins from that ruthless assault. You're right, but it's much easier said than done when you consider the multifaceted offensive attack of Seth freaking Rollins. Introducing the challenger from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, the glorious Robert Roode. And his opponent from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the world heavyweight champion, That's what these men are going to war over, the World Heavyweight Championship. One more look at the ultimate prize, the reason for all those long training hours. Guys, this one has that big fight feel tonight with the World Heavyweight Championship being contested for. Yeah, Michael, and that's exactly what this title stands for. Challenging for it is one of the most demanding situations a superstar can find themselves in. And defending it is even a... Oh, right, right, down. Line. It's cinch. We're gonna free the arm and does just that. Rollins got surprised there. He's been placed in the corner now. Well scattered reversal there. In the counter from Rollins. Setting up neck breaker position. Yikes. Ooh, bang! Look out! 
absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spitting in the face of danger. As annoyed as he can be, it's very tough to overstate Seth Rollins' in-ring skill level. Corey, is there any particular weakness in his game that you think could be exploited in this one? Physically, no. But Rollins' strength ultimately comes from his confidence. So if you persist long enough, you'll fluster him, and that's where the confidence will shatter. Seth Rollins just sitting back and degrading his opponent. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. Kick to the gut. Cranked around into a neck breaker. Oh, just gouging the face. Ah. Ripping and here's a pin for the title. The champion with his shoulder up before two. Still in it. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Oh, easy. Rollins in full control here. Revolution knee. And Zagiri finds its mark. A bad place to be for the challenger. Typical crafty offense from Rollins as this match goes on. Face buster. Oh my god. Face first. Shoulders down now. Is it enough to retain the championship? It's still hanging on. He really thought that was it. You can tell there's pride on the line here. A desire to prove once and for all. All right, so I'm down. It's cinched in. This could be over. What a unique submit. We're going to free the arm and does just that. Swift clothesline out of nowhere. Springboard fails to connect on the springboard. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Oh my, sent the champions down, the champions down. Oh my God, we're gonna have a new champion. Gets his shoulder up before the two count. He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. And a carefully measured knee drop. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Ooh. Gloriously delivered. A fisherman suplex. Vicious right forearm. He's going for it all. Here we go. Missile drop kick. Seth losing any command of this match. He's been annoyingly persistent, and now we're seeing a hell of a lot less confidence from Rollins than we're used to. And Rude has been taking hits after hits in this one. Rollins is clawing deep in his arsenal to try and end things. Sunset flip, won't go. Oh, caught him. Uh-oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Pedigree. For the win. Two. Seth Rollins keeps his title and doesn't look like it's going anywhere right now. 
Here is your winner, and still World Heavyweight Champion, Seth Freaking Rollins. There he is, the champion standing tall after this defense. This was a great title defense from the champion. Yeah, hats off to the champion. They could not be kept down in this one.